After having a consultation with Rosa Massimo for a hair colour appointment, you must get a skin patch test regardless of whether you are a new or returning customer. There are two ways in which you can do this. The first option is to come into one of our salons for a patch test behind your ear and this must be done at least 48 hours before your appointment. This is free of charge and no appointment is necessary so you can just walk into the salon to get this done. So as an example, if your hair colour appointment is 3pm on a Saturday, you must get the skin patch applied by 3pm on Thursday day of the same week to allow for the 48 hours. The second way to get a patch test is to use one of these colour start patch tests and this is a good idea if you cannot make it into a salon at least 48 hours for the in salon patch test. A colour start patch test can be ordered off our website for 15 99 however before you order it you must complete the health questionnaire first. This will give you a success or fail result allowing you permission to go and order the patch test and apply it. So unlike the in salon 48 hour patch test, the colour start patch test must be applied to the skin at least five days before your appointment. So that is a full 120 hours. So if your appointment is at 3 p.m. on a Saturday, the patch must be applied to your skin by 3 p.m. Monday of the same week. When ordering the patch test off our website, there is also a note that says it can take up to seven days for the patch test to be delivered to your house due to the current coronavirus pandemic. So you must ensure you order the Colour Start patch test off the website in plenty of time to allow for it to be on your skin at least five full days before your appointment. So a full 120 hours. So as a tutorial what you'll need to do is head to rosamassimo.com, click the shop online tab in the top right corner and scroll down to the colour start section. So you'll see here a warning around the need to do a questionnaire firstly before you order a colour start patch test. So if you're a new customer there's an email there which you just need to send an email to requesting that a questionnaire be sent to you by email. If you are an existing customer then you'll already have a colour start login so what you'll need to do is log back into this and redo your questionnaire so that there's the most up-to-date information in there. This will be covered later in the video. So if you are a new customer and you've requested by email that a questionnaire be sent to you, you'll receive an email that looks something like this and you'll just need to click the accept invitation button there and follow the steps to set up your account. So the Colour Start Passport system looks something like this and you'll need to click the complete passport button there to answer the health questionnaire and go through all of the seven questions. You will then get the results of your questionnaire either allowing you to go and purchase the Colour Start patch test or it will say that you cannot proceed with the patch test and therefore the appointment. So in this instance Colour Start can be used so what you'll want to do next is proceed to our website go to the add to cart option there to order a patch test and then you'll need to order that through PayPal. And then what you need to do next on the Colour Start website is just scroll down a little and there'll be an option there to share the results with hair professionals. So you just want to type Rosa Massimo into that box there and choose it and that will send the answers of your questionnaire to the hair salon. So when you receive your Colour Start patch test in the post, you want to click the get started button on the Colour Start page and you want to link Colour Start to your record. So what you'll need to do is look on the Colour Start packaging for the batch number. This is found in the top right hand corner and you'll just need to enter that number into the box there and link that to your account. So once you've done this you'll want to press I'm ready to apply my patch there because this page has a whole load of information on how to use the Colour Start patch. There is also a video on there and it's worth watching that and reading all of the information on this page. At the bottom there is an option for you to upload a photo of the patch on your skin and this will then start the countdown timer for the five days before your appointment. So once you've done your questionnaire and it says that you can apply the patch test, you've ordered it, what you'll need to do is apply the patch test and as mentioned this is at least five days before your appointment. So if your appointment is Saturday 3 p.m. I would want to be applying my patch test no later than Monday 3 p.m. So if it was Monday 3 p.m. right now I would open up the patch test Inside you'll see you get this foil packet which contains the patch test. You will need to wash and dry your hands first. Make sure your upper arm is clean and dry and you've got no body creams on there and then you'll see on the patch test here there is a side with number ones and there is a side with number twos. So what you want to do first is remove the stickers for number one. Hold the patch test at the edges as best as you can. Try and ensure your fingers don't touch it like that. And then what you want to do is apply that and then apply pressure from the center outwards to ensure it is stuck on your skin. And then once you've done that, the number two stickers will be visible as it is on my arm here. And then you just want to peel those off because they are just plastic. I'll smooth that down there and then you'll see you have an A plus and you have an A minus and that is the patch test applied to your arm. 
Then going back to the Colour Start website here, you'll want to press I am ready to photograph my patch and what you'll need to do is accept any permissions there and take a picture of the patch on your arm. So when you upload that picture, you'll be presented with a screen of your results countdown. So you'll see there that after two days, you'll get an email letting you know to remove your patch. You don't need to do anything else or record anything at that stage. And then two days later, you will need to photograph the place where you had your patch applied and upload that to the system. So going back to the previous example, you apply the skin patch test to your arm on Monday at 3 p.m. You would then leave it on for 48 hours. So on Wednesday at 3 p.m., you would remove the patch test by peeling it off your skin wait around half an hour and then inspect your skin to see if there's any redness, bruising or swelling. Over the next few days as well, you would also inspect your skin daily to ensure that there's no new redness or swelling or bruising that appears on the arm. If the test is positive, which would indicate a potential allergy to the hair colorant, the area under the patch marked A- and the area under A+, would look different to one another. There may also be a rash, some redness and it might feel itchy or warm. If you experience any of these symptoms, you are not to proceed with your hair color. If your skin looks normal and there's no visible differences where the patch was between A- and A+, then your test is negative and it's safe to proceed with your hair colour. So once you've taken the picture on the Colour Start patch test of your patch being applied and uploaded the picture, it will start the countdown and you will then get a reminder after 48 hours reminding you to remove the patch test. So back to my example, if I put the patch test on on Monday at 3pm, when it gets to Wednesday at 3pm, I would remove the patch test off my arm, monitor my skin after around half an hour to see if there's any redness, and do the same over the next few days. After another two days, the Colour Start Passport requires you to take a picture of your arm and also upload it onto the website and again you will receive an email reminder for this. So for any future appointments, you don't need to reapply the Colour Start patch test and purchase a new one, but what you have to do is redo the questionnaire each time you want to come into the salon for a hair colour appointment. So to do this, you log back into the Colour Start website with your email address and password. There will be an option on there somewhere to retake the questionnaire and then you will just need to answer those questions again just to give the system the most up-to-date information share that with Rosa Massimo hair salon just to check that there's no changes in your personal circumstances and it is still safe for you to get hair color applied color start patch test comes with liability insurance that's for the salon and for you as a customer as long as you follow the instructions this will avoid you having to purchase another patch test in the future as long as you update the questionnaire before each future hair color appointment and as long as it's still at Rosa Massimo hair salon